Hi everyone, it's me again, DJ, just giving you another video blog update of my journey here in Korea. So if you are watching this video and you notice that my voice isn't matching the clip, don't worry, there's nothing wrong with this video. It's actually done on purpose because I wanted to show my old hairstyle, even though you don't really see my hair in this video, um, compared to what it is now. Because this past weekend, I went to Lisi's Hair in Sinchon to get a new hair look, hairstyle look, I guess. Um, which was really a fun experience and I definitely recommend it if you want a new look here in Korea. So when also I included are some clips of this past week, my experience again in another typhoon here in Korea for a day. It was raining really hard but I still had to go to class and everything was fine other than my umbrella breaking. Then the next two days um, it actually turned out really nice and I went to Citibank to open my bank account and get a bank book in order for me to open a phone contract with Olay. Very simple, the English staff, um, speaking staff, so it made things even better. Then I went to Sticky Picky with some of my friends, which was my very first time experiencing that. I never even done that in America, so it was really fun, um, simple, and yeah. Then later at night, I joined some of the guys to go some shooting um, games at I Park Mall. And finally, to the weekend at Sinchon, where there was this festival going on. I also recommend trying this dessert place, Pop Bin Su. Um, it was really crowded, lines outside the door, and the place is obviously filled. That's what I got a green tea, Pop Bin Su and ending, I guess, the day with video arcades. And that was my first time playing those crane machines. I never even played that in America. So it was really interesting because I never really played those things. And finally, at Lucy's hair. When I was saying goodbye to my hair, and it's a really interesting experience. I definitely recommend if you want to color your hair to do it there. Haircuts can probably pass because I didn't think it was that much greater than, I don't know, an ordinary cut. I did just get my hair layered, so I wasn't expecting much, but I didn't think, think the techniques were that different. Ta -da! So this is what my hair now looks like. Not much different, at least cut-wise. I just got a trim um, just to keep my hair healthy, and I got a full color. It's slightly brown, which I don't think you can really see in this light. I was kind of lazy this morning to record when it was actually natural sunlight, but it is a lot lighter than my natural black hair. It cost me 140,000, 40,000 for the haircut because my hair is long and 100,000 won for just the color, which averages about to $140, which isn't too bad. But from my experience, I think I would go back there just for the color, but not so much for the haircut, just because I didn't think the haircut was that amazing, even though it was just a trim. I have just get really picky about how my hair is cut. And along with what happened this week, with my Citibank account and my Olay contract, and along with Lucy's hair, even though they are places that are foreign friendly, just know that they know key phrases and words um, that they memorize and how to answer. So if you speak really fast or ask them about their holiday and side life like I did, they were kind of thrown off and didn't really know how to respond or they did but in a very confusing manner. Um, I do now have an Olay contract so I have unlimited data here in Korea so it's really awesome. My phone's been dying almost every day because of that and that's okay because I am tweeting a lot more so make sure you check out my Twitter account at MissDJ. But don't forget to subscribe to this video channel blog. Um, you can subscribe up below there, up below, up there, um, Life by DJ with Cameron. Also, feel free to check out my written blog, uh, kimchiseatforthesoul.blogspot.com. I hope you enjoy and have a really good day. Bye.